What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be working on this motorcycle back here. Uh, I got here a 1972 Yamaha DS7. This is a two-stroke motorcycle. Uh, if you don't know much about it, this is, uh, they made these from, I think, 1990, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, 1970 to 1972. I think they did just those three years, and then they went to the RDs, uh, which I had two RDs. I had an RD350. I had two RD350s a uh, long time ago, but I wanted to do another R3, RD350. But I found this when I got it from a buddy of mine for a great deal. Originally, I intended on ripping this thing apart because uh, my next build that I want to do was something kind of crazy. Uh, and I want to build like a crazy cafe, kind of like if you ever see my CBR and the fat tire kind of lay frame and stuff. Uh, so I was going to do something like real different. You know, that's my thing, doing stuff different. So uh, but I got this one and I was like, I'm going to do it to this one. And I got it home and I was looking at it. I was like, man, dude, this thing is sure like... Uh, it's not all original, of course, you can see it has like the tail section done to it, uh, but it was just clean, it was pretty dope. So I didn't want to butcher this one up, um, I decided not to do that to this one. And actually with that cafe, custom cafe I want to build, what I'm actually going to do is just build it from the ground up. Uh, I'm going to use a 350cc two-stroke motor, I'm actually going to use a Banshee motor uh, and make some kind of crazy loud, uh, powerful two-stroke and build a cafe racer with it, maybe like a lay frame with a fat tire, something crazy, something something we haven't quite seen before. Uh, but this one, I want to, I'm not sure if it runs or not. Um, you know, I talked to the previous owner about it. He just says it's been sitting for a long time and it could it ran before he uh, parked it and maybe the carburetor just need to be cleaned out or whatnot. But uh, I do understand that sometimes, you know, I get some, it may not run perfectly, it may run perfectly. Uh, but what I'm going to do is take this one back here and and go ahead and just try to check it, check the compression, check the uh, all the you know essential stuff and make sure it's getting the oil and, and clean the carburetors because these things have oil injection in it, so that has to be working right so it can get oil into the fuel. So I'm going to check that. Uh, and another cool thing about this bike is I have the original title for it uh, from a guy named Charles. He bought it in 19. 72 or 73 somewhere around there uh, brand new he was a first time owner uh, and this title I have here is actually the one registered to him uh, so I still have it I just registered it to myself without a title and just you know put it in my name or not so I could register and stuff like that so cool to have that title too um, <clears throat> I really want to take this one and, and just make it really clean super clean uh, you know, clean cafe bike. I love cafe bikes. A lot of people don't know that about me because I'm actually a street bike guy first. Like that's my my favorite street bike. So uh, I've always kind of put those first. But I always love the cafe. That's like my my other thing. So uh, this would be my first cafe that I actually built for myself. You know, I've done it for customers, but uh, not for myself. But I I don't want to change it up too much. I want to keep it clean. I'm gonna do some a little different on the tail section. I don't think I'm gonna go with the down better just kind of like a straight out cafe to almost like if this wasn't here but I'm gonna go with a different tail redo the seat redo the paint uh, get this thing running first and then um, and then take this thing and then paint it and everything and do everything else I need to do so uh, that's gonna be pretty cool I have it in my lobby here uh, in the window it was a display bike for quite some time uh, I've had it sitting here for a little while since I bought it so I'm waiting on my little man to come he's gonna help me get this thing off Get on the ground, I'm gonna push it back in the shop and start seeing can I get this thing ready. So. <laughs> So we got the DS7 to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and get these spark plugs out of it. First thing I'm gonna do is this compression test. The most important thing, because I don't wanna waste my time doing everything else and then we have no compression. So I'm gonna do that compression test. Uh, once that checks out good, I'm gonna get some new plugs for it. 
uh, get some fresh gas in this thing, uh, and I'm gonna clean these cars, and I'm gonna let them soak in some car cleaner in the meantime while I'm doing all this other stuff. So we'll go ahead and get this thing broke down so we can see if this baby runs. Got these carburetors cleaned out with some carb cleaner. I got that gas tank cleaned out too. Uh, you can see there's some pretty dirty stuff in there. So uh, hopefully these carbs will be working pretty good when I get them back on. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them on uh, and see if I can get this thing started. So here we go. So she runs, we just got a fuel issue. It's not getting any fuel. I think the pet cock is kind of messed up. It looked kind of bad. So uh, I'm gonna order that and throw that on to see if I can get this thing working. Thank you. 
All right, so y'all, I decided to fill up the carburetors with, uh, I just filled up the bowls with some gas. So I got this thing where it can run and stay running. And it seems like it is pulling a little bit few once it was able to start running. Uh, just not a lot, but I got enough in the bowls where I can at least make it around the neighborhood, I think. So I'm gonna, I got my GoPro strapped to my helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I could drive this thing down the road the first time. And I'm so excited to see this old thing come back to life. Like I say, 72, man, this is so cool for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it out of here though and see what we can do. I figure that might happen. The clutches are probably stuck. I'm gonna try to break them apart. Yeah, so my clutches are stuck. It's been so long since it's ran. So I'm gonna have to keep trying to kind of get it in gear, and get them to break loose. There they go. So that's it for this video. I'm pretty happy with it, you know. Uh, she rode pretty good. There was a few little hiccups I had here and there. Uh, I think I'm still having an issue with the fuel delivery and stuff like that, but I got new petcock on the way because that thing is pretty messed up. Uh, so I got that on the way. And uh, I think I'm gonna convert it to where I'm mixing the oil in with the, the gas instead of the pump. I don't think that's working in my favor right now that pump but uh, I'm just gonna check a few things get the small stuff done but I am gonna finish this thing up and I'm gonna do a nice cafe tell I want to redo the seat make a little slimmer seat uh, I want to repaint the whole bike I want to repaint the frame uh, put new exhaust on it 
just get everything painted up fresh and real clean and, and, and give it a nice little cafe look and just get it running good. So uh, I think it'll be a cool little project. I'm entering in the OCC show uh, next year for the cafes. Uh, so I think that'd be pretty cool. But and then the following year, I'm gonna go ahead and build that crazy cafe that I was talking about earlier. Uh, slammed out lay frame, just fat tire cafe, something, something crazy. But I do want to build that from the ground up. I just can't see myself butchering up a, a bike this old and this good condition. I just, I don't have the heart to do it. It's, it's such a great motorcycle. I actually enjoy riding it. Um, it's different. It's slow, you know, but it, it's so cool to ride. So. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this video. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna. I got a couple big projects I gotta kind of work on right now. So, he, but here in about two or three weeks or so, uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start breaking this thing down and start building for the cafe show for OCC uh, next year. So I'll have that video posted of me ripping the motor out, doing everything clean, brand new, getting it back together, uh, and that'd be a pretty cool little video. So stay tuned for that uh, and. Make sure to like, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, peace.